What's up, folks? It's Joshua's hands today. That's all you're going to get from me uh, because this is one of those situations where I am doing something quickly and I'm just going to make a video about it in case it's helpful to anybody. And what I'm doing is I am... See, here's the problem. The, the temperature sensor on my 3D printer, it's got this handy-dandy little plug that came with it. And that's nice because if you ever have to take this assembly apart, then... The, like if you have to disassemble the extruder because there's a jam, then it separates uh, and you don't have to, you're not tugging on these wires. But the heater cartridge doesn't have a connector. And I'm not really sure why that is. It creates a problem. So I'm going to install a connector. And the connector that I'm going to install is this little XT30 here. Now, maybe there's a good reason why this didn't come with a connector on it. Maybe I'm making a terrible mistake. Or... Maybe not, but guess what? Ha ha, ha we're committed now, boys. Hey, hey let's do this. Um, I, I'm joking. I did a little reading before I, I decided to embark on this idea, and other people have also done this. And they're like, yeah, XT30 is fine. These wires, even for like a 30 or 40 watt uh, cartridge, they're only carrying two or three amps. So a 30 amp connector. I mean, like there are some two or three amp rated connectors that I would not trust because I would suspect that the, uh, they were dropping amps and reducing the power output. I guess we're going to want to make sure this is good because the resistance of the heater, uh, it relates to how much heat it's going to make. Maybe we ought to rerun the <clears throat> PID tune after we do this, but I'm going for it because there's some BS if you have to, if you have to uh, open up the extruder to clear a jam and it's tugging on these wires and you don't want to have to take the heater cartridge out, that's, you don't have to actually disassemble your hot end to keep it from tugging on the wires. So we're going for it. Now, because I'm away from my bench, I'm using my portable soldering iron. This is a TS-100. Um, this is a really, really good soldering iron, not just for a portable soldering iron, but in general, it's just a very, very good soldering iron. And uh, I highly recommend it. I've got some videos about this and some of its cousins up on my channel. I'll put a link down in the video description. Now, the good news is that there is no polarity on this. There's no plus or negative, so there's no way to wire it up wrong. That's uh, just a resistive element. So, a little flux to make sure things go smoothly. I guess I'll wait till it's reconnected before I zip tie it all back up. Um, crap. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to be doing another one of these uh, in some form or another. Probably not an XT30, but yeah, the freaking temperature sensor wire broke. Oh, well. Um, uh, but that's going to do it for this one. We, uh, yeah, you can take your extruder apart and disconnect your hot end without having to uh, take your, take all of it apart. And hopefully without yanking on any of this nonsense and breaking the wires like this. Um, that's going to do it for this video, though. Uh, more 3D printing content linked down in the video description. Uh, generally of a higher quality than this video. See you later, guys. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.